tell it is early oh i'm so sorry but good morning everyone and welcome back to another day of vlogmas i am still waking up this morning it's very early i think it's about half six quarter to seven and the sun has definitely not made an appearance yet i am very fresh faced but it is not bright and early it is dark dark and early but i must admit I'm feeling a little bit smug because I feel like I finally nailed my lighting situation. I have been struggling throughout the majority of Vlogmas so far with regards to the lighting. Obviously here in the UK in December it doesn't get light till maybe about 8 o'clock and then it gets dark at like half three so it's really really difficult when the lighting is just like so stark behind me i go really really blue when i sit next to the window because it's obviously very like blue light outside especially when the sun starts rising or starts setting and it's just not a vibe so i've actually set up my ring light this morning and i feel like it's making all the difference if i do say so myself i feel like i still look a little bit pale and a little bit washed out because i have faked hand and i still look very very pale on a camera but you know what pale is better than blue so i'm really happy with the lighting setup and i feel like it's just going to be making all the difference to the dark vlogmas vlogging but good morning hello from my very fresh face i feel like this is the side of me that you don't normally get to see but with vlogmas daily vlogs this is what you're getting this morning i'm currently just about to get myself ready for a really really fun day i'm actually heading back into london today i've got a little shoot and i'm going to be doing a little bit of shopping with my friend shloka which i'm so so excited about i literally have not seen her in ages she got back from india recently looked like she had an amazing trip so it'll be really really nice to catch up have a bit of a girl's day get some festive photos and do a little bit of christmas shopping so i'm really really looking forward to that so i've just started doing my skincare routine that's how early i've picked up the camera i have not even finished it but i have put on eye cream and some serum because i couldn't come on camera without even having washed my face that's just completely unacceptable behavior so i've just currently used the lancome genifique Your eye cream i have for once for the first time changed my eye cream and literally months away from the clinique moisture surge eye cream this is a really really lovely one if you're like me and you don't like thick heavy eye creams i definitely recommend it giving this a go it's a really really nice one it's just giving you that moisture but not kind of making your eyes like puffy and not i find that like thick eye creams it almost feels like they're blocking the pores on my eyes i don't know if that's really a thing but i feel like they get puffy they get a little bit like heavy this is not heavy at all so i'm really really enjoying that and then i've just used it alongside the ordinary marine hyaluronics which is a really nice just like easy morning hyaluronic acid to use it's just a little bit of moisture it's a great like first step for your skin so i've just used those this morning but i'm going to be using a couple of products that have literally changed the game for me at the moment i feel like my skin is looking okay at the moment i still have a few scars from when it was breaking out at the start of the month but i feel like they really are fading now and they are becoming a lot less like textured which is really really nice so i feel like my skin is getting to a really really good point and i feel like i can literally pin it on two products or one range from the body shop because i've not really changed much in my skincare routine recently especially in terms of like serums and in terms of like my actual base skin apart from these so the fact that it is so much better i feel like really goes to show that this is making a difference so this is the body shop edelweiss collection i received this back in maybe early november um as a very very kind press release and i was so excited to try these products because it's all based on the kind of like protection of your skin against pollution and i really do find that that was one of the biggest contributing factors to my breakouts um i feel like when i have days in london i would always come back with like little under skin spots little white heads and i would just feel like my skin was basically full of london pollution i feel like ever since moving away from london i've noticed the pollution in the air so much more especially if i get the tube and especially if i'm like in and around central and i spend the whole day there it really does get very congested i feel like it's the best way to describe it so the edelweiss collection is basically a way of like combating that and protecting it and i do absolutely adore it. i feel like it's made such a huge difference to my skin so i'm going to start with the daily serum concentrate so i'm just using this in the morning at the moment and i'm not using it every day actually the days that i'm just at home i'm not actually using it because i feel like i don't want my skin to get used to it i want it to still be that protecting barrier and i basically want this to be my london skincare routine so i feel like depending on what you're doing for the day it's actually really good to change up your skincare routine i find personally that my skin gets very 
complacent with what I use so it's nice to change it up so I literally just use one pump of that and it's a really really lovely one very moisturizing it smells quite like nice and fresh I don't could tell you what Edelweiss smells like potentially this is what Edelweiss smells like but it's very very nice so I'm using that alongside the body shop Edelweiss smoothing cream this again I feel like makes such a huge difference I started just using the serum and I felt like I noticed a little bit of a difference in my skin and then when I added the moisturizer as well I literally noticed such a huge difference it's quite a thick one um like quite a thick daily moisturizer which normally I don't like normally I like really like gels um but this is quite a nice one at just protecting your skin it does feel like you're literally putting on a barrier as you are applying it which is what I really really liked about it and it just oh, I can't tell you the difference that it's made to my skin on my London days and you guys know that I don't like to overwhelm my skin so that's literally all I'm using for my morning skincare at the moment and I feel like it makes such a difference I never like to like put too much on my skin or kind of like overpack it I just like to keep it really minimal and paired back and then when I get home tonight this will be my cleanser of choice I like changing up my cleansers again depending on what I'm doing for the day depending on what my plans are depending on where I've been and this is the cleansing concentrate from the Edelweiss collection so again really like focusing on like the pollution protecting your skin and looking after it and making sure that you're like really deep cleaning it and getting all those pollutants out of your skin so that you don't end up with those horrible breakouts so yes that is my current morning skincare routine and I feel like it's really making a difference which makes me really really happy so I need to get myself ready for the day now get this face looking a little bit more presentable and a little bit more awake so let's get going that is a vast improvement from before a little bit glam but still just my everyday easy makeup i'm not gonna lie i thought i wouldn't bother showing you because nothing really changes with regards to my everyday makeup although i am still loving the charlotte tilbury hyaluronic um lip balm in pillow talk so so lovely just for a little bit of like hydration but still a really nice color and coverage i think you can still use my farfetch discount on this and all the charlotte tilbury products over on farfetch so i'll leave that linked down below but before i start getting dressed and ready for the day i have some new bits to unbox with you so I picked up just a couple of pieces from Pandora that I've been eyeing up for ages and I am wanting to go a little bit more glam with my jewellery today because I feel like if you can't go glam with jewellery at Christmas then when can you? I'm wanting all of the sparkles today and I thought that I would show you a couple of new pieces that I picked up that I have just been eyeing up for so so long and thought that I would treat myself to this festive season because they're just going to be so perfect for like all the parties all the events I feel like even if you're not like going out out sparkles always look amazing at Christmas time so I actually picked up two of the same thing first of all so this gorgeous tennis bracelet here now you guys will remember that i picked up a tennis bracelet from pandora recently it had a really gorgeous light charm in the middle and whilst i was buying that i saw this and i just fell in love it's gonna be really difficult for me to show you maybe i need to put it on and then you can see it properly so this is the bracelet and just look at how stunning that is it's just a really simple tennis bracelet it's got no design details to it no kind of like accents or embellishment it is just the most simple beautiful thing ever and this to me just looks so unbelievably expensive like it looks like you can add another two zeros to the price tag which is what i just fell in love with it for i absolutely love these kind of like diamante details to it they look really really high quality and really beautiful and what i actually decided to do is buy 
two of the same bracelet. Now I know I've spoken about this before but I really really love this about Pandora is how much their pieces are really designed just to like style up together, be able to wear, you know, stacked and like mix and match but also you can wear the exact same piece twice and I really really love that. I just think they look so beautiful together and they'll like cross over throughout the day and they just look absolutely stunning. One thing that you could do as well is obviously buy different sizes. It's one thing I really love doing with my Pandora bracelets is buying a smaller size and a bigger size because then it means the bigger size kind of like knocks over the smaller size and they like mix really well and like stack really beautifully so i really really love how they look i think the sparkle is just so beautiful these will be so so perfect for all of the christmas events that i've got coming up i think they would make a lovely gift as well because as i said they just look so much more expensive than they actually are they feel very very special and i just absolutely adore them i then picked up a new ring now i love the pandora wishbone rings i feel like they're just so beautiful so timeless and so classic and they've actually brought out a new wishbone ring in a gorgeous diamante version look at that oh my word again it just looks so much more expensive than it actually is it's what i love about the pandora jewelry and it actually looks like you've got two bracelets on or two rings sorry um instead of just the one which is what i really like so it looks like you're stacking up when in actual fact it's just one piece and i really really love how it looks i really like with the wishbone rings as well you can kind of wear them either way you can wear it going that way or going the other way and it just looks so beautiful it looks almost like a little halo on your finger which is what i really really like about it and i just fell in love with the diamantes i feel like they go really really well with the bracelets and they also go really well with the last thing that I picked up which is another wishbone ring but it's slightly different in the style it's got more of like a kind of like imperfect detail going over and instead of looking like you've got two rings on it just looks like the one but I really really like this I just thought it was such a beautiful design really different from anything else that I own as well and you could stack them up with the actual like um like simple undetailed wishbone rings as well if you did want to create a little bit of a stack with that but I just thought those were such beautiful festive pieces I'm really loving my silver jewelry right now you guys know what a huge trend at silver jewelry is this year and I feel like no one does silver jewelry better than at Pandora so I'm so excited to have added these pieces into my collection and I'm going to style them up with some of my favorite sparkly pieces this is a stack that I am loving so in terms of necklace I'm actually just wearing one that I've not worn for a little while it's like a little kind of halo necklace and it's got a little bit of sparkle to it which is what I really really like about it I'm just wearing my favorite silver studs I felt like the blue didn't quite go with the rest of the vibe of the jewelry so I've gone for the silver and then on this hand I am wearing it the other kind of tennis bracelet that has the really cute little like charm on it that little um I don't know what to call this like pendant which I think looks really really lovely and stacked up next to these two I just think it looks gorgeous and then on this hand I have actually decided to add a plain wishbone to this because I really like how it looks stacked and then I've just got my little June birthstone ring with another wishbone because I just think all the wishbones together look so elegant and so beautiful such a gorgeous festive Christmassy sparkly stack I am absolutely in love with these pieces I think they just look so so, so cute. I'm not gonna lie, I have wrapped up warm today. I've got a vest on, I've got a roll neck and a really lovely thick coat because it is cold today. Perfume of the day, I think I'm gonna use the Molten Brown Rose Dunes. I'm really, really enjoying this. It's one of those perfumes that's just very, very highly complimented and like lasts all day, which is what I really, really love. And then outfit of the day, I've actually just grabbed out an old coat, which I have rediscovered my love for. This is actually an old one from ASOS, but I believe and other stories have done a version this year um if not i'll see if i can find something and link it down below because usually places like karen millen or some like higher end clothing brands release really similar coats to this but it's just like a really gorgeous white oversized coat which i really like i've got a green little slip skirt on underneath and a black roll neck and my vivaya boots and as you can see got my suitcase and my Marc Jacobs tote bag beside me. I really do look like I'm off on an expedition whenever I head into London for shoot days, but I am ready to go wrapped up warm for a very chilly day in London. Goodness me, does my nose get any redder than this? You can tell it is a chilly, chilly day, but I'm here with Shota. Say hi. hi. Oh, you look so beautiful. I love your outfit. Also very 
<laughs> we're so chilly today we just had a very successful shoot this morning around bond street it's looking very very festive which always makes me really happy and we've just stopped at the fennec cafe actually it's feeling really lovely we've got some heaters on us so it's really nice and cozy and i think we're gonna have some sushi yes we are gonna have some sushi so excited so we're gonna stop for a little bit of lunch before we head off later Okay, we have just finished up lunch. It was so, so yummy. We didn't actually realize that the um, restaurant outside Phoenix is completely vegan. Sushi was amazing, absolutely delicious. So we're now going to spend our afternoon having a bit of a girly shopping trip. And we thought we would do a little bit of festive shopping at somewhere that I've not hit yet this December. That is Liberty, which you can see just over there looking very, very festive. The lights are up on Regent Street and they look absolutely Absolutely magical I must say I think the angels are my absolute favorites let me show you look at how magical they look even in the daylight they just look absolutely amazing so yeah we are going to be doing a little bit of festive shopping at Liberty's so I've not actually seen Liberty's yet this year and it's just looking so wonderful and festive I feel like it's just one of those absolute classic places you can't not do a little bit of Liberty's shopping at Christmas time This. there's something about the old Tudor house just being covered in twinkly fairy lights that just feels absolutely incredible.
light light i feel like i'm really really nailing the new lighting at the moment it is pitch black again this is when you know you are in at the depths of winter when it's pitch black before you leave the house and it's pitch black by the time you come home but i had such a lovely time in london i barely got my camera out whilst i was with it shloka we just had an amazing shoot once it was looking really festive so we thought we'd really just make the most of the sunshine make the most of the beautiful weather and then had a really lovely lunch together so i thought i would quickly show you what i picked up from london because even though i popped into quite a few stores i actually was very very restrained with myself didn't really buy too much i feel like places like zara h&m they have some really really gorgeous pieces in at the moment loads of like party wear items which i was really enjoying having a look around i honestly feel like i'm a magpie at the moment because i'm just drawn to anything with a little bit of glitter any sparkle any glitter any shimmer that is what I am feeling at the moment. But I picked up a couple of bits in Liberty and I'm not gonna lie, this is a product that I literally forgot existed. It is a product I used to be obsessed with, absolutely obsessed. And when I saw this in Liberty, I was like, I can't not, I can't not. With how much I'm really enjoying like trying out new skincare products and really kind of like working my skin at the moment, I was like, I need to reintroduce this to my skincare routine. This is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. And Kiehl's had a really, really gorgeous counter at Liberty. They had so many lovely like gifting products and really lovely Christmas presents that I feel like would make such great gifts for underneath the tree. And actually this could also make a really cute Christmas gift. It's got the Christmas packaging on it at the moment, the little bow. And then look at the back, it's got a little, a little birdie with presents. Um, if you know someone that is into their skincare or has maybe been like struggling with it recently or just really, really loves beauty products, this is a great gift to get them. So the Midnight Recovery Concentrate, it says, is a replenishing elixir of pure essential oils and distilled botanicals for radiant, younger looking skin by morning. And it's just one of those that is so lovely to apply. It's so, so lovely. I used to be obsessed with this absolutely obsessed i used to use it every single night and when it ran out i just forgot to repurchase it it's quite a nice one because it's not too expensive sometimes skincare can be a little bit tricky to get people for christmas because if you go for something a little bit too bougie sometimes you can get people hooked on a product and then they're gutted that they can't rebuy because it's maybe a bit out of their price range not something they'd normally spend on their skincare whereas this is something that i feel like makes a great gift looks beautiful it's very very exciting to receive but at the same time it's one that if people do get hooked on it they could easily repurchase themselves but look at how cute it looks with the little Christmas packaging, the little Christmas birdie that it's got on there. And then it's got some presents on the side. Sorry, whenever the lighting is not natural lighting, my focus really, really struggles on my camera. But this is such an exciting one, the kind of product that... It's just amazing. It's absolutely amazing. So I definitely recommend that as a gift. So I picked that up whilst I was at the Kiehl's counter. And I also saw what I think would make a really lovely gift as well. So this is the Kiehl's Head to Toe Hydrators. And it comes in the cutest little Christmas packaging. I absolutely love it. So in here we have four products. And they're kind of like... I feel like quite cult Kiehl's products, which I really, really like. So this is like a really great one to introduce someone. So maybe if you're looking for a gift for someone who is maybe new to skincare, is a little bit younger, any kind of like teenagers or even tweenagers that you know, any nieces, nephews, this would make a really, really lovely gift for them because they're just like really easy products to use. It's nothing too overly complicated. Very, very simple and a great introduction to Kiehl's as a brand and to skincare in general. So in here we've got the creme de la corpse which is a superb all over body moisturizer we then have the kiehl's creamy eye treatment we have the kiehl's ultra facial cream and then the ultimate strength hand salve which i'm really really excited about so it's basically a really lovely very hydrating very moisturizing gift set so i'm gonna get them out so i'm really excited i did actually get this for myself even though i know it is technically a gift set but that's one thing i really love about christmas actually is sometimes when you like want to treat yourself it's maybe more financially beneficial to go for the like gift set rather than just buying the individual products so this product i'm actually really excited about to add into my gym bag whenever i'm going swimming going to the gym and things like that because whenever i like shower afterwards and want to moisturize i'm really struggling with a nice travel size moisturizer and i feel like that is just the perfect perfect size and the creme de corps is such a gorgeous moisturizer i am not someone when it comes to body moisturizers that likes anything overly fragranced overly like 
what's the word when it's like substance over form over substance or something like that basically i like it to really really work it's magic i like it when it smells nice but that's not the key thing to me and i have tried a lot of moisturizers in the past especially from those like higher brands that maybe they focus too much on the scent of it and not enough on like the actual moisturization of the product this smells really really lovely it's not too strong it's just like a really really lovely scent but the main focus is the moisturization it doesn't take too long to dry so i really like this again it's a product i've not used in ages I'm then quite excited to try the tr creamy eye treatment. Now, what I like about this is it's not actually a cream. It's a treatment, so it's going to be a little bit lighter. As I said, I don't like... Yeah, that's really, really nice. I don't like full, like, thick creams when it comes to my eye cream. I like it to be more of, like, a gel-like consistency. Or that is actually, as I'm applying, that is quite thick. Mm, maybe that will be more of a nighttime, a nighttime eye cream. But I do like the feeling of that. It almost feels wet as you're rubbing it in. It's a really interesting consistency. So that sounds really nice. I've not tried that before. This, however, is a product that I used to absolutely adore and I'm quite excited to go back to. It's the Ultra Facial Cream, which is a 24 hour daily lightweight hydrating formula. It's a really, really nice one. Really simple, everyday moisturizer. You can use this morning and evening. It's a great one, again, to travel with because you can use it day and night. You don't have to worry about taking two moisturizers really really lovely one and then lastly it's something i've not tried before but very excited to add into my handbag is the ultimate strength hand salve and i don't know about you but my goodness me i'm so dry at the moment i'm so glad that i had my scarf and gloves in my bag with me because it was freezing in london today i feel like the temperatures have dropped so much recently especially when it's like sunny i feel like the sun almost tricks you into this like false sense of security that you think it's gonna be nice and warm because the sun's out and it's sunny and it's gonna warm you up but no it is freezing because it's blue skies you've got no cloud coverage nothing to like keep the temperatures like in your little bubble so it gets very very chilly so this i'm very excited about because i am getting really really dry and cracked hands at the moment i always feel like i really know when we're coming into winter when my hands need that extra little bit of moisture so that's a really lovely one to keep in my handbag that is all i picked up as i said i was very very restrained but it was just really nice to have a little bit of a wonder mainly a window shop around oxford street and at regent street and it just popped into some of my favorite brands and other stories h&m zara so i hope you enjoyed coming shopping with me in london i hope you enjoyed this video if you haven't already make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss a single vlogmas video i'm gonna go get my makeup off get into my comfies and i will see you guys tomorrow